Loves myself Everything I have found here I'm not found by myself it's frankly amazing how we can get so attached to fictional characters that we start valuing their existence and vouching for everything they do. And unsurprisingly, when their ultimate demise arrives, we are left with feelings of immeasurable grief and loss. On that note, here are 10 recent video game character deaths that made us particularly sad. Please note that the feature list will contain major spoilers for The Last of Us Part 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, Batman Arkham Knight, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, Horizon Forbidden West, Ghost of Tsushima, Marvel Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Shadows of the Colossus. With that out of the way, let's begin. Joel, The Last of Us 2. Tommy, this is my brother. Joel. I look like you heard of us or something. Because they have. Easily one of the most heartbreaking scenes of the generation, Joel's surprise death held so much weight that it completely divided the fan base into two halves. Over the course for the first game, Joel had undergone a transformation from one husk of a human being to a caring father figure for Ellie. The sequel opens up with these two growing distant from one another and Ellie essentially wastes her last precious moments with Joel before he's tortured and ruthlessly murdered by Abby. What makes this more heart-wrenching is that Ellie remains in front of Joel the whole time, tirelessly screaming for mercy to rather unsurprisingly no avail. It's a powerful scene that goes on to show the sheer brutality of The Last of Us 2's post-apocalyptic world. Arthur Morgan, Red Dead Redemption 2. Most all I can. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. While everyone who played the first Red Dead Redemption knew that this was coming, still Arthur Morgan's death remains one of the most emotionally stirring death in recent games. Players start with a cowboy who did everything in his power for the Vanderlyn gang, but as the game progresses, he starts growing disillusioned with Dutch's grand plan and grows more caring for the needy and helpless around him, just when he discovers he's inflicted with tuberculosis. This compelling character arc comes to an abrupt end during the game's finale after he helps John start a new life away from the gang. I guess he did earn his redemption, after all. I gave you all I had. I did. <laughs> Balder, God of War 2018. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel. <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. God of War's reboot is a thunderous thrill ride that excellently combines over the top action with a heartfelt narrative filled with emotional story beats. Baldur might be the game's final boss, but his death is still one that can affect many players. Issy Balder was gifted, or rather cursed, with the ability to feel absolutely nothing and be harmed by nothing by his mother Freya. This then puts Balder on a path of madness which culminates him trying to strangle his mother with his bare hands. He's then killed by Kratos and Atreus, they're the only thing that can harm him. Mistletoe, which Freya had given to Loki. I mean Atreus. It's an interesting spin on the Norse myths, with the tale being twisted in the middle yet reaching the same conclusion. Poison Ivy. Batman Arkham Knight. One of the most iconic characters in Gotham's rogue gallery, Poison Ivy's send-off in Batman Arkham Knight remains a heartbreaking scene to this day. Pamela Isley teams up with Batman to put an end to Scarecrow's plan, and when he succeeds in engulfing the whole of Gotham with his toxin gas, Poison Ivy shows up at the party to save the day. The catch is, she dies while trying to revitalize Gotham's flora and fauna to suck up the poisonous toxin. 
It's a powerful character arc in the finale, and one that serves to showcase a sense of humanity in the seemingly most wicked of villains. Jin's Horse, Ghost of Tsushima. Forgive me, Kage. We have to reach Jin. Yuna's waiting for us. Ghost of Tsushima is one of the best open worlds of most recent memory, and it also houses one of the most painful deaths we have ever witnessed as of late. Players start their journey through the islands of Tsushima with a trusty steed, who tirelessly takes them through expansive fields, towns, mountains, and whatnot. Over the course of his journey, it's natural that most would have established some sort of emotional connection with Jin's horse. The trusty horse then meets its untimely demise when it's barraged with arrows while escaping from Lord Shimura's camp, following Jin's exile. And he ultimately falls down and passes out. This scene is just a punch in the gut, and one that most players, and perhaps even the developers, probably didn't see carrying so much emotional weight. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. Aunt May, Marvel Spider-Man. You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. This one's also a real punch in the gut. Aunt May gets infected with a devil breath that Dr. Octopus unleashes upon the city, following which she's admitted to the hospital. While Peter Parker has the antiserum in his hand, he has to make a tough choice. Save Aunt May and let others die, or let go of Aunt May and save others. Unsurprisingly, Peter chooses the latter of these options, and it isn't an easy choice. Tears fall down his cheeks when he comes to realize that he can't save the only remaining semblance of a parent all because of his responsibility to the greater good. Rost, Horizon Zero Dawn. Here. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. This Nora outcast became the father figure for series protagonist Aloy, who was handed over to him by the High Matriarchs of the tribe. Rust spent a great deal of time nurturing and raising Aloy, and ultimately training her to pass the proving. Just as Aloy successfully completes the main trials and tribulations of the test, the participants get attacked by the Shadow Karja. Aloy finds herself on the verge of death just when Rust comes to her rescue. Following a frantic duel with the Karja leader, Rust is hit with a lethal stab. He reaches out to the still unmoving Aloy and throws her off the soon to explode cliffside, sacrificing his life to save his daughters. Shriek, Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Moon Studios Ori and the Will of the Wisp is a fable with learning of how to be empathetic towards everyone. Shriek, the main antagonist of the game is a spider with a deformed body, which led to a traumatic childhood as most would refrain from playing and interacting with it due to its anomalies as such, he came to hate everyone connected to the light, which by extension meant Ori. We learn about Shriek's troubled past after the boss fight, which then makes its death so much more emotionally evocative. Finn, Spider-Man Miles Morales. The follow-up to 2018 Spider-Man might not be the most expansive, but it certainly has a storyline that's more personal and by extension impactful. The game's main antagonist, the Tinkerer, is actually Finn, a childhood friend of protagonist Miles Morales. Following the death of her brother, Finn holds a personal grudge against rocks and energy. She sacrifices herself to save Miles in the game's finale, permanently robbing Miles of a trusty childhood friend. It's okay. Agro, Shadows of the Colossus. 
Fumito Ueda is a master of minimalism, and it's astonishing how his games remain consistently engaging on an emotional level, with little in the name of dialogue and bespoke plot twists. Shadow of the Colossus is a great example of this, with Agro's death arguably being the most depressing plot point of this already depressing video game. After spending a great deal of time battling against Colossi in this long-forgotten kingdom, Agro falls to his ultimate death while making sure to push the player to the other side so that they may complete their quest to save the princess. Did you know? We at Game & Bolt upload new videos every day. Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.